Here we go then, we've got a border middle section of this loft. Insulate the two sides. Well it'll mess us up with as always. Hopefully <laughs> it'll get better. Yeah. Here we're laying down the battens. Yeah. But to cut it there because one of the joists running through the loft is actually higher, which happens a lot. Over time on these Victorian properties, the joists do bow. When you first start, always board around the hatch because that's going to be the hardest point and it's always going to slow you down. Batten in the hatch first. And always lay the board staggered. The joints then are much stronger. All right, well underway now. Again, we're using OSB boarding, which is much better. Very much older loft, this one. A bit up and down, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. It's early June and it's getting quite hot in the lofts. In midsummer, it's like working hard in a sauna, which is great fun. Right, just putting a three section aluminium ladder together. They're quite basic, just more of a pain in the backside than anything. Using all these bits in there. Arm, handle. I'll show you when it's done. There you go, that ladder's all fitted and ready to go. There's the arm there, looks a bit like a mouse trap and acts like one. So be careful if you're fitting these, they do swing back on you. Just getting towards the end of a very hot loft. There we go. If your loft has non breathable sarking felt, you can tell non breathable sarking felt because it's a black colour, the older sort. And it's got holes in like this. Don't worry about it. It's good for ventilation, to be honest with you. The more air going around the loft, the better. This one's got open eaves on it at the sides there. The air will come up through there. Go around the roof on convection. And the same the other side. The two eave ends, obviously, no air coming through. So all the necessary air is coming from the eaves. So as I said, those small gaps in the sarking felt and not a problem. If you do get sweaty joints, joists rather, these are all clean, but if you do get sweaty joists, it turns a white colour, then you just get a local roofer to put some tile vents in for you. Occasionally soffit vents, but tile vents usually do the, do the trick. Loft is now complete. Don't look much, but a lot of work went into that. And it's June, so it was really hot. <sighs> oh. 
you walk on it, it's totally solid. Do a little tap dance on it if you want. It's that good. This is completely to the uh, client's specification. We've just got to put a three section ladder in, which I'll do towards me. Use a three section aluminium ladder with an arm for extra stability. And that's about it. This job was up in a place called Gosport. And it took roughly about four and a half hours this one. Which in this heat was probably about four and a half hours too much. There you go. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Best regards.